perfect, terrible, perfect. The hands scraping on tongues, and the tongue so along the way, and the to work. Who will release me from such destruction? What can we give God of our valuables for what he's done for us? Only a copper? That's all it will amount to for what we can do for what he's brought us through, what he's brought us out of, our own personal Egypt. He brought us from a land of dry, uh, uh, desolate uh, habitation to a land of prosperity, to the promised land in our own personal lives. What can we repay him? There's nothing we can do to ever repay him. All we could do is serve him. Uh, I want to talk about Evan Roberts and the Welsh Revival on how a young man uh, shook a nation, how a young man in his 20s had a, a friend that had his back. He had a, a pastor that said, Go for it, son. Uh, he didn't say, well, wait, wait on God. You know, we're going to wait till you get 40 or 50 or 60 to start preaching the gospel. He said, go ahead, preach the gospel. Let's have a revival. He didn't say, well, go get your, go get your minister license and then we'll talk about it. No, he saw the call and he saw the anointing. And God used him to kick off one of the uh, biggest revivals this world's ever seen. See, because God showed him in a vision that he was going to be a part of saving 100,000 souls by being a servant of the Lord. About a calling and anointing and authority had been given in his life. Well, one day uh, he got tired, as, as bodies do, even a young man in his 20s. When you're having a revival and the power of God moving, you have to rest. You have to have somebody else minister at some times. You have to take time off. Well, of course, uh, he might not have realized this. Uh, or maybe the uh, pastor could have stepped in and said, well, I'll preach one night. Or, or your friend could preach another. Or so on and so forth. You need to rest. You need some fluids. Uh, the power of God is just too much to contain in, in, these, in these mortal bodies. So he fell out and collapsed, and a lady uh, uh, that's believed to uh, possibly have a jealousy spirit in her, a spirit of jealousy, grabbed him up and took him to her house. Now he, she was well off; she had lots of money, and um, she told she told him she prophesied to him to never go back and preach again; that if you do, you would die. Well. Uh, he got better. She passed away. The Welsh revival ended, and he never preached again. And his final words were, Why was I ever born? He listened to that false prophecy of that false prophetess, the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of Jezebel, that quenched his fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost that God had given him. And she told him that this was not of God. This was of Beelzebub. Now, I want to tell you, and I want to warn people out there. Pastors, encourage your young one, your, your younger uh, uh, people under you. Encourage them. Uh, you know, lift them up. This is what the church is for. Uh, to be among a body of believers to revive us, O oh Lord, in the midst of our years. You know, so many times I've felt so strongly in the Lord and I felt to do something or was told to do something and I went and did it. And later on, it, sure, sure enough, somebody would say that wasn't no God. And um, it's very hurtful and it will quench your fire if you let it get to you, if you let it get to you. But if you don't, you persevere and you press on. You never give up. What if Paul would have just uh, 
got knocked off his horse and stayed blind? What if Jesus would have uh, just got whipped and never went up up to the uh, carried the cross? Uh, we can't give up just because somebody thinks or says something hurtful. We have to forgive them and move on, even if they're jealous, even if they don't understand, even if they're a total another spirit. Rebuke that spirit in them and move on. In the name of Jesus. Because you could start an, another revival. God will do a new thing with you. You will receive true prophecies. You will come across true believers in, in the anointing of God. You will re, uh, reach the mountaintop. You will come across real prophets and apostles. You will do these things. But at the same time, i got to give you some bad news. There's going to be some who don't believe you. There's going to be some who put you down. There's going to be some who backbite you. There's going to be some who judge you unrighteously. But God says he will be with us always, even until the end. He said he has sent us a comforter. He has comforted us from inside of our hearts. When we go through it, he's going through it too with us. Whatever it is. Bend us, O oh Lord. Bend me. But Lord, bend me in a way that keeps me in you. O oh Lord, let us do it right this time. Lord, let us get it right one last time. Revive us, help us, heal us, in Jesus' name. Nobody could say Jesus is Lord without the Holy Ghost. Not one person, by their power or might or will, is able to say Jesus is my Lord and Savior without the Holy Ghost in them. And if a man's preaching and says Jesus is my Lord and Savior, if a man says in the name of Jesus, if a man says Jesus is the Messiah, if Jesus, if God says uh, I'm sending you a servant that's going to say in the name of Jesus you will be healed, then that is of God. Don't think that it's of Beelzebub because if you think that, then you're against God himself. You're not against that person. You're not against that servant. You're against God himself, whoever he sends. Whatever he's trying to do, if you're hindering it or interfering with it, be cautious and yield to the Holy Spirit. And if you don't have enough anointing, understanding, or discernment to say this is not of God or if this is, it's best to just keep silent. I warn you, I warn you to not come against ministers of God in the hand of Almighty God himself. Sure. God loves us all. But God uses some more than others. And some love God more than others do. And it's those who will be used mightily. It's those who seek at the righteousness will be filled. In the name of Jesus, we have to love one another. We have to be humble. We have to be cautious when the Holy Spirit is operating. To not grieve the Holy Spirit. And oh my goodness, I fear for those who blaspheme the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, help us, Lord. Help us, Jesus. In the name of Almighty God, salute the soldiers and the generals of Jesus Christ. Help us, Lord. Bend us. Bend me, God. wherever you see fit, whenever you see the time is ready. Okay, Lord.